Hello everyone. In this video, I'll give you an introduction to robotics. Robotics. Sounds cool, right? Yes, it is cool. Not because of its name, but because of the work we do here and things we make. What comes to your mind when you hear the word robot? Some of you may have the misconception of big machines to be considered as a robot. It's wrong. The simplest definition of a robot is any matter that has at least one degree of freedom. And the robots which take shape of a human are called humanoids. What on earth is robotics? Robotics is the study of robots, making of robots, playing with them. Why do you think we need robotics? Robots make our task easy. They can do repetitive tasks without getting bored. They don't need rest. They never get sick. And the best part, they never complain. Moving on to the fundamental blocks of a robot. Mechanical system, power supply system, sensors, signal processing system, and the control system. Mechanical system comprises of the chassis, wheels, and their placement. This system decides the locomotion of the robot. By this, we can move our robot in any direction. We need devices which convert electrical energy to mechanical energy, and such devices are called actuators. The most popular actuator is the DC motor. For a robot to work properly, we need power supply, which acts as food to the robot. Unless we feed the robot, it can't work. For this, we supply DC power, which is provided by a battery. The next part is the most interesting and fascinating thing you'll ever get to know about robots. You know, we humans are independent to an extent because of our senses. Then, for the robot to be independent, what will we need? By totally independent or autonomous, I mean the robot should work on its own without any human interference. Most of you will agree that it needs intelligence. This intelligence is imparted by us humans. Is it enough? Well, of course it's enough. The robot will work with that, but it will be totally isolated from the outside world. For it to be interactive, we implant sensors. A sensor is a device which is capable of sensing physical parameters like temperature, pressure, heat, magnetic fields, radio waves, IR waves, etc. and is sent to process. The data from the sensors and ele electrical and digital signals need to be processed so that robot analyzes the situation and make its move. For this, we introduce electronic components to process the signal. Control system is the major governing system of a robot. Every system that is present inside a robot and function can be represented in the form of control system. Based on control, robots are classified as manual, semi-autonomous and autonomous. Manual are wired and wireless. Autonomous are pre-programmed and self-learning. Pre-programmed, the example can be given as a Line follower, which once given a task to move on a black line, it keeps following a black line. Self-learning are the obstacle detection robot, which move on their path. When they detect an obstacle, they move backwards, turn the position, again move forward. You know everything has advantage and disadvantage. Advantage of robots are they are faster than human. They are automatic. And we can use them where we can't go. Like, you know, we, we can explore space, we can explore mines, we can explore volcanoes. See, it's so dangerous, but we can do that with the help of robots. The disadvantages of robots are people can lose jobs in factories. We need more supply and need maintenance of the robots, which becomes very costly. Thanks for watching the video. If you like to take more tutorials, do like, share and subscribe.